plastic tubes and pots and pans Bits and pieces and the magic from the hand will make the weird science Welcome to my show. I am Professor Adobara Dinudu from Jibber and today we are going to do a experiment on magnetic and in class you learned from Mr. Hini who is a very very smart man, very good man, very, very good man, very good. Man. Mr. Hini tell you that anything with cobalt, iron or nickel in it is magnetic. It will stick. It will take magnet. I have magnet right here. I have magnet. Here we go. You take anything metal, you stick it. If you have, have iron, cobalt, nickel, it stick. But then you do experiment and you work very, very hard and you find that you find out that uh, you take a, a nail and it stick. You take a paper clip and it stick because it have iron. But then you take nickel, you put on magnet, no stick. Put on magnet, no stick. What up the deal with that? Anyway, it should stick, it nickel. But Mr. Heaney tell you, very smart man, very smart man, that no nickel in nickel, just call nickel. No nickel, no nickel. But then you ask, what about penny? What penny made of? You tell me copper, you say copper. And Mr. Heaney say no copper, just little bit copper on outside. In the middle of penny is zinc to tell you, and you say, I don't believe you. Don't believe you, but I show you today. We take a penny, we take one penny, and we take a little file, and we make little marks on the outside of the penny. And that allows us to see little bit of zinc. And then we're gonna put the zinc in hydrochloric acid, right here, very bad, very bad. Very bad stuff, no touch, no play at home. Very strong stuff. We pour this into a beaker, a beaker right here. Always wear protection on your eyes, not get acid in eyes. Be very, very bad. All fun and games till someone loses an eye. Anyway, we pour a little bit of acid. Just a little bit. We take the penny, we put it in the acid. Oh boy, oh boy, something is happening. I can tell it, I can see it. Can you see the bubbles? I see bubbles, oh boy, I'm so excited. It's very good, very good. I see the bubbles, there's bubbles. It is reacting, it's reacting. I see it, oh boy, the zinc is gone. Bye bye, bye bye zinc. Oh. I'm so excited, this is so fun, I look, I take this out of the acid, and I have very, very thin shell, very thin shell, just copper, no zinc left, and here, you want to see, we pass around, we pass around to you, here we go, Mr. Heaney, here we go, alright boys, girls, there's one more thing, gibberish again I hate when that happens but anyway one more I prove you fact that no all the way copper through the penny we take a penny right here a good shiny penny very good penny and we're going to take a Bunsen burner and it's very hot very hot very hot you don't touch it very very look me eye it's very very bad very bad, very hot. Anyway, you take the penny, always wear your eye protection, and we're gonna put it in a flame, and the zinc in the middle of the penny is going to heat up a lot faster and melt than the copper. And the zinc will melt right out of, right out of the penny, right out to the table. Oh boy, I see it, something is happening, oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. And now you see 
it's just a little itty bitty shell of penny, very, very little bitty shell of copper on the penny. No inside left. No inside left. See? Here we go. Here, Mr. Heaney, here we go. Here it is. You look here, we got zinc. It's just zinc. This is the inside of penny. Look, it's silver. It's silver. It's not copper. It's not copper. It's silver. It's silver right here. See, it's made of zinc. From my heart and from my hand, why don't people understand my intention?